Hi, I'm Brandon Grazley. I'm a high school math teacher. We're going to find the perpendicular bisector to a line segment AB. Now AB we used in another video. I've already got it uh, graphed here. There's A and B, the endpoints, and we also already found the midpoint C at negative one-half and negative two, and we're going to need that for, uh, to be able to find the perpendicular bisector. So just to give you an idea what that thing kind of looks like, perpendicular bisector goes uh, is at a 90 degree angle to the uh, to the line. Sorry, let me get this on here. Like that. Um, and it has to go through the midpoint. It's right in the middle, so it bisects this segment. It cuts it in half. So bisecting cuts it in half. Perpendicular means it's at a 90 degree angle. So let's uh, we have to know a couple things. So finding the perpendicular bisector means to find the equation. Let's see what we already know. We already have the slope of segment AB. I'm going to call that M1. That slope, you can, you can calculate this doing some subtraction and stuff, or in this case, because they're nice whole numbers, you can just count on the graph. Um, we're going to go up 2 from A to B, you go up 2 as we go over 9. So we have a rise of 2 and a run of 9, and that's positive. You can see it's sloping upwards. Uh, so that means the uh, slope of the perpendicular bisector oops, is uh, the negative reciprocal of this, and I'll call it m2, and that will be equal to nine, negative 9 halves. So it's negative, and flip this over. These two things multiply together to give you negative 1. Okay, so we know the slope right here of the line that we're trying to find the equation for. And we also know one point that's on it, C. So our general form is y equals mx, in this case m2, x plus b. And we know a point, so, and we know, the, we know the slope. So let's fill in what we know. There's our slope. And now substitute the point that we know, which is C, the midpoint, negative 1 half and negative 2. So the y value is negative 2, that goes here, and the x value is negative 1 half, that goes here. When I, I'm going to multiply in a little bit of a funny order here. Over here, negative 9 times negative 1 is going to give me positive 9, and on the bottom I'm going to end up with 4. Now because I'm going to have quarters, I'm going to have to combine this negative 2 and the, neg the 9 quarters in a second, so I might as well write this as a number of quarters that will be uh, negative 8 quarters. So just looking ahead there. And plus b. So now I'm going to subtract 9 quarters from each side. Maybe I'll write this one out. And I'll do a negative 9 quarters over here. So there's what I did to each side. I subtracted 9 quarters from each side of that equation. So the equation is still balanced. These guys here will cancel each other out or they will add up to zero. So I'm left with negative, uh, let's see, 17 quarters equals b. So then the equation of the bisector, the perpendicular bisector, is y equals, the slope is negative 9 halves times x, and then uh, plus b, but b is negative, so I'll write minus 17 quarters. Thanks.